Regardless of the season, there's always gonna be excess plant material. Either from spent crops, or from the annual pruning. Even nature deals with this. It does so during its annual deciduous leaf drop, sending valuable nutrients and organic matter back to earth and creating a protective layer for that valuable topsoil. In the garden, we can do the exact same thing and it's called chop and drop. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms and welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we try to answer the most pertinent garden questions of the day. And today is all about chop and drop. Okay, so just what is chop and drop? Well, it's exactly as it sounds. After a crop is over, instead of pulling it out of the ground or chopping it down and dragging the excess leaves and stems to the compost, we chop it right at the root collar and leave it in place. Think of it as a free instantaneous mulch that has mega benefits for your garden. Five in fact. Time short, so let's run down the list. The first benefit is that the dropped material returns back to the soil at near identical nutrient profile as to what was taken out by the plants. Second, by leaving this plant material in place, we're protecting the topsoil from the harshness of the elements, just like any mulch would. Third, by leaving the ground covered, just like it would be in nature, water loss by evaporation is completely mitigated. And excess water from fall winter precipitation is prevented from eroding the delicate topsoil. Four, just by dropping the material right in place, you're saving yourself the time and energy of not having to haul it off to the compost. And finally, the chop and drop method is the ultimate support for soil life. Minimal disturbance by leaving the root systems in place and maximum protection by covering the bioactive top layers. That alone is reason enough. Chop and drop is a fantastically free way to ensure better yields year over year. Know what else is fantastic and free? Probably the next episode of The Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.